What I wanted to do today is actually to talk about something which is bothering me a lot. Uh, I'm sure a number of you have seen it. If you can hear me, just thumbs up, tell me you're hearing me, it's clean. Um, and then I continue. This is called Easter Special. And on Easter Special, I want us to tell ourselves the truth. I want us to coach ourselves um, and especially our young people so that you know we don't miss opportunities um, we get to make, make the best of our internet connections um, and, and you know utilize these social networks in a way that helps us to further um, expand our horizons so I hope all of you enjoyed Good Friday and you're having a very good time on Saturday um, Ambassador Ojamege, uh, you know, the the weekend is is, is grinding to to the end. Tomorrow will be Sunday. We have my usual show at eight p.m. in Kenya. Tomorrow we'll be talking about mental health. But I didn't want to talk about mental health today. What I want to talk about is something that bothers a lot of us and this let's just be very quick eh? and and then we can take questions if you want um, and i'm going to operate on an assumption where people will communicate to you i i have nothing prepared i didn't prepare any notes so i'm just doing spontaneously um, so people in inbox you on whatsapp they send you messages on telegram they send you messages on on sms they even uh, you know call you um and and once in a while you know we get all these strange numbers that are you know missed calls on our phones um we can't we can't quite tell and and to be honest it's not because we we do not want to pick your your calls i think what we need to tell ourselves is uh, you know to develop a very good culture of self introduction um, don't assume that people know you. Don't assume that people can tell from your number who you are. I know that a lot of Kenyans say, ah, you know, I can just call and if he wants to know me, he can go to True Caller or whatever else. I mean, some of us have no time to do that. We don't have time to go to True Caller to search and look for you and then find out who you are. That's not our business. I think when you want to communicate to somebody, you need to formulate um, your communication. And I'm going to give you a very simple way that I do, even with people that know me, um, that work with me in, in our company, for example. So when, when I inbox somebody and we use Teams as a company, and that means, you know, my details are visible to my colleagues. They can see who I am, where I am working from, my phone contacts, my internal um you know mass communication system etc etc which is something that you guys don't see even with that level of exposure of my details to the other person so when i contact somebody for example from wrigley in nairobi or from mars in russia or from mars in thailand or from mars in uh, in, in the US or UK. What I do is I go straight to introducing myself. I say, hi, uh, Andrew, this is Serone. You know, I work for, for Mars in Germany, based out of Ferden, uh, in Mars Pet Care. Uh, I am, etc. you know, Mars uh, Global Flavor Innovation Manager. Um, he, he has all that information. He can basically click on my name and it will show what I do, what is my job title, who is my manager, who is my colleague, um, how long I have been working at Mars, um, and, and that sort of thing. So I think the, the thing I do there is I don't assume the other person knows me uh, by merely um, you know, going to, hi, hello, how are you? Uh, it, it makes it look so cheap. Um, when you do that, and I encourage a lot of you, don't assume that somebody has your phone contact, don't assume that somebody has your phone number, and that if they do, that they have actually saved it, um, and, and that they can recognize your phone number. And we have a habit, a lot of us who are very busy, we don't answer phones, uh, phone calls from 
people whose numbers are not saved unless they introduce themselves, um, you know, like that. And so I really think, you know, to help you, I would give you a very simple template. Template number one is, who am I? I am Serone, uh, Jason. Um, and and if if possible, guys, give all your three names. I know in Kenya we like we like to use very queer ways of introductions. Like somebody will say, "I am Jason Jeptabaj." You know that's nonsense. That's really BS. Jason Jeptabaj. How many Jasons are there in Jeptabaj? Or I am Sam in Nandi Hills. What do you mean by Sam in Nandi Hills? How many Samis are there in Nandi Hills? Or I am Wendy. Kaptumo. Forget it. Just give your names. My name, I am I am Serone Jason from Jeptabaj, uh, you know, um, I'm a tea farmer and uh, I'm, I'm reaching out to you because I'd like to ask you a question. And that way, and, and I keep going back to people when they give me one name, don't introduce yourselves using one name unless the other person knows you. For example, if, if I had a phone call today from... I just give you an example. If I had a phone call today from, and I'm going to irritate you, and then I make you happy. If I had a phone call today from, from Raila, because Raila and I know each other, we are friends, we speak German. He he would easily say, "Ich bin Raila." Has to it was Zeit zum Reden. So he will he will use one name because I know him um, by one name. If it's William Ruto, he will likely say, "Hey." Uh, William, and and I will recognize him um, like that. If it's Hendrik was gay, he will likely say, "Hey, Jason, I'm gay." Or, or something like that, and I will recognize him. If somebody is familiar to you and you know each other, you can use one name. It's okay, but I encourage you guys. There is a reason we have three names, at least. Even if you are not a Christian, your family gave you three names. You have you have your name, the birth name, Kaineta Musare. You have your Kurenet name, or if you don't, you have your family name. You know, if you do, if you don't want to be called Marcela, Jiptonui uh, Kirori. Why don't you just say my name is? You know, I am I am Jiptonui Kirori, Jibwap Kirori. Um, from Sojoy. I don't know whether there is anybody like that, by the way. I'm just making it up. Uh, so that you help the other person to to sort of, you know, think about how do I save your details if I want to, to save them for further reference when I want to contact you uh, later. So really, consider it from today that when you inbox somebody and you write hi, um, that is rude. When you when you write hello, I know a lot of you like to be polite and you say when you are told hello, just say hello. No, sorry. That's not how it works. When you say hello and you want to be to be uh, replied to, say hello, this is John, this is, uh, you know, Mary, this is uh, Geoffrey, Gipta-Nui, John, Gipkring, Sami, Gipta-Nui, from Gipterit, Gipta-Nui, from Munich. Um, I lost I lost uh, my old number I'm contacting you with a new number for example or you know I uh, I was given this number by Geoffrey and I'm calling you because of 123 let's really try to help the other person get a picture of who you are without them coming back to ask you uh, who you are and you might notice um, a lot of you also get a bit worked up when I, I also get messages like this. And then I'm like, but who are you? And somebody once told me, you can click on my pro profile and check who I am. And I'm like, oh, come on. Really? Seriously? Like, I have all the time to click all your profiles and just go and, and, and look it up on Facebook. And the way people use fake names on Facebook to, uh, you know, identify themselves. So, I mean... Why do you want to put me into all that trouble to go digging up uh, your information? Are you really that important that I have to stop what I'm doing to be able to go and do it? Um, and I think we can save ourselves all this trouble. I mean, I introduce myself as well. When I call people in, in Kenya, even people that I have their phone numbers, I, I still introduce myself. Oh, okay, 
you know and i know a lot of people will ask me why you, why do you keep saying jason uh, wajaman it's because there are so many jason but you know when i say jason wajaman it makes it more specific it comes to a particular uh, person in mind of course after some time when my children will be introducing themselves as jason wajaman then it becomes a little bit more complex uh, than that so really point number one, give out your three names if you can give out your two names at least and then the other thing is let people know what you want don't say hi and keep quiet and wait for the other person to to reply say and i'm talking to my relatives as well when they write messages like this to me like hello and then they go quiet for two days because i didn't answer and then i have to ask them what is it you wanted to ask me you look like you wanted to communicate and they're like yeah i wanted to ask you something and i'm like two days later if you had written that message and said hi um I'm just wolfies or hi, I'm, I've run out of pocket money. Now, if you ran out of pocket money and you have to wait for two, two days, um, I think that's not a very wise use of time. It's not a very wise use of time. Okay, guys, uh, you know, let's be honest. So, usually when I know somebody is not available, I write a message which is very comprehensive. And I mean, I'm free. I, if you guys want to see, I can give you some of my own self-introductions that I make to people even on WhatsApp. When I write, uh, the other day I was writing to Mandago, for example, and I was, I had to write a message, oh, Mandago, what do you mean? I don't know what you to say, I don't know what you know, I provide my names as, as they are, you know, the three names, and the reason why I want to talk to him. So later, two days later, he replies to me and says, oh, sorry, I was busy. I didn't see this message, but now I have seen it. This is the answer I'm giving you to, to your question. If I had just said hi and then I go, it's like, hello, how many highs do you see in a day? So avoid saying hi. Just, you know, if it is a message, really, there is nothing wrong with you packing the whole message there. Just type the whole message, uh, you know, hi, David. Uh, Kiburina uh, John, Kiptanui. I saw Jason post that you have C uh, twelve T seedlings um, in in at Septono. I am interested in uh, you know buying ten thousand seedlings. When you see this message, please reply to me. When David opens his phone later, he will be able to see. Oh, there was somebody who contacted me. He was referring to a message which was you know pointing him to me. And he particularly needs help in one area or the other. He may not answer you at that time, but he will have all the information he needs to be able to, to, to answer you back. So that is one. Provide your names in full, even if you think the other person knows you already. Do it. Um, and, and the other thing is, we like saving names, providing nicknames. And, and stuff like this. Nicknames are actually for people who are familiar to you. Like people who know me from Kapsavet Boys will call me Ilet, and maybe they save my they save my contacts on their phone as Ilet. But if if you don't know me, you 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 likely have never heard of that nickname until today, until this time, you know, um, really. So. I want you guys to really learn this. We are becoming a bit of a culture which is broken. And then when you correct people, they get worked up. Really, really worked up. As if you are entitled to my attention. Let me give you a very small piece of advice. Really very small piece of advice. The only person who is entitled to my attention, if I count them, they can't fit my five fingers. They are likely to be my mother, my mother-in-law, my wife, and my three children. Even my own siblings, they, they have to earn it. They have to earn my attention. So don't assume, um, don't assume that you are, um, don't, don't assume that you are really, you, you, are, you know, you assign yourself a certain level of importance that when you are corrected, you get worked up. And, and you think, oh, this guy is rude. I mean, sometimes I ask people, but who are you really? I mean, I will just give you an example of somebody from Kapsabet the other day. I, I just found it so, so distasteful. Um, somebody has a very genuine, um, you know, a very genuine 
desire to to reach out to me for something maybe financial because I, I didn't read the message but I could read from the headline so this is somebody I don't have their contacts on my WhatsApp I don't have their contacts on my phone and and this person basically attaches a solicitation document on WhatsApp to me it is something which is asking for 20,000 Kenya shillings to buy something. I will not say what it is for purposes of privacy. A, the person sending me this information is not known to me. I don't have the phone number saved. So when it comes on WhatsApp, it comes as the full number. It doesn't have the person's you know, names. And then I go back to this person and I say, would you care to introduce yourself? Ah, no. Yeah, I said, would you care to introduce yourself? And then I deleted the message and I said, let me go back to a little bit of, you know, education. And I said, do they still teach, um, you know, communication skills at, at in, in school these days? I actually meant to alert this person to the fact that he or she needed to communicate with me because you don't just dump a, a fundraising solicitation thingy on people without informing them a what it is about and b what is it that you expect from them right and and this person says yeah um they do but you know at at i don't know at tertiary colleges or whatever it is that the answer was and i'm like well you know Obviously, you didn't understand the question, which is true, because my meaning of, of writing that was, have you ever learned anything, in, you know, that includes, hey, my name is, uh, you know, John uh, Nui, uh, and and I have uh, a business project here that I'm interested in starting. I'd like you to, you know, help me. And, and this is the other thing that I'd like to advise our people. If you want to start a business, you cannot ask people to do a harambe for your business. You can sell shares. If you want to get people to support you for business, a business is not a harambe. If it is something you want to do to earn money, it's not a favor, right? It's not a favor. It is something that you, you need to do to earn money. That means you need to either sell shares. You can say, hey, I have a very good idea here. I'm buying a tea farm, but I don't have, you know, plants for seedlings. Can you loan me money and I will refund by this day? That's a different story. But if you want to tell people to give you money because you're building, I don't know, residential houses that you know you're going to be renting out, what the heck? I mean, come on. If it's a business, you go to a bank and borrow money from a bank or you go to a cooperative to borrow money from a cooperative or you borrow money from somebody and say, uh, give me money, I'm going to refund to you when I get the first rent from this, uh, you know, this, these houses. Uh, I mean, I had somebody who asked me something like that the other day and I'm like, is this a private thing that you're investing or is it a public thing that you are, you know, constructing for some community thing? And it's like, oh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a private thing. And I'm like, okay, thank you very much. So I didn't even answer because, I mean, if it is a private business, you plan your finances and then you invest. I also have my own crisis. It's just that I don't go out there publishing and saying I have, you know, I mean, I'm short of money or something. But I, obviously I'm broke. I, I see people like there talking about uh, love your enemies. Belinjai. Of course I love my enemies. I, I love my uh, my relatives. You, are, you know, you, you know that. Um, but I think what we need to do really is introduce yourself before you put a problem to people so that at least they know who you are and they can size you up, right? Um, and, and last night there was something on Twitter which was really good. Uh, some guy, you can go to Twitter and look for somebody called Kimuzi. He will be hosting it tonight again. Uh, Kimuzi is hosting a very brilliant conversation on Twitter in, in what they call uh, Twitter spaces. And, and last night I was telling this team of people who are listening to, 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 to us there, uh, you know what I will, I will tell you as well. When you introduce yourself and you are done, um, uh, try, try not to convince people using tears. You know, don't play with emotions to convince people. It makes you look so cheap, you know. 
it it doesn't it doesn't really help if you want to convince people to help you and buy your your vision of something put an argument put an argument uh, before them tell them hey you know um and i'm i'm going to be telling that team uh, either today or or in future if you are looking for a job or you're looking for financial assistance or you're looking for a referral or you're looking for an idea sometimes it doesn't even need to be money it can be an idea if you're looking for an idea or you're looking for money or you're looking for a job or looking for a job referral or somebody who wants to review your cv or something like this don't start things with oh you know uh, i really want you to help me because i am the only one in my family who has gone to school so what you know there are so many children who are the only ones who've gone to school in their families, including me. I was the first one in our family to go to a formal university. And I'm the only one in our family who has been to the level of a professor. Does that guarantee that people need to help me because of that? No. What I want us to learn is to build a case. And, and you, can, you can think about that. Think about the fact that you are the only one who has gone to, to university in your family, despite the circumstances, etc. And then reformulate your, your case and say, um, you know, if you're asking for help, say, you know, at Serenade, um, I have worked so hard, you know, all through high school. I'm now, you know, at the first or second year at university. And some of the people I see here, you know, um, communicating with me now, are people that have spoken to me like that before and I've given them, you know, assistance where I could to buy them uh, bread here or something that they wanted. Uh, you know, put the case for what you need so compellingly that the fact that you are the only one who is suffering in your family to educate people will be sort of something that really motivates you in, in formulating the argument. Don't sell sympathy. Don't sell sympathy. It's really, really not going to fly with a lot of people. Because we know that when you appeal to emotions, you actually are targeting exploitation. I know that. You know, I know that. So try and be convincing. Convince people by saying, I have worked so hard, I have reached my third year, I'm going to be stuck, and I really need just one boost to be able to complete and reach the end of the tape. Um, are you able to help me? I'm trying to raise 50,000 shillings, and I'm asking people to raise for me a 1,000 here, 500 there, 50 shillings there, 10,000 if they can afford. Um, what, would you, what would you be able to, uh, to, to do for me? Uh, the name of the Twitter um, uh, spaces is at Kimuzi, K-I-M-U-Z-I, -I, um, is is the, uh, the the host of of that. So, I think it will be starting around about. I I don't know. Just look for me on Twitter, and then I will. You will see the um, the tags from yesterday. The conversations. It's really a very frank and 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 timely conversation which is ongoing there. Okay, back to our topic. Introduce yourself first. Introduce yourself first, really. Um, even if, even if you you have, because a lot of us, you know, you, you have our numbers out there because people keep sending our number numbers to people. The fact that you have my number doesn't mean you have me. I think you need to be very clear about that. The fact that you have my number doesn't mean you have me. The fact that you can reach me on on social media doesn't mean that when you are disrespectful and generic, I, I will not be able to, uh, to to ignore you. I can. And the good thing with Facebook sometimes is if you, if you inbox somebody on Messenger and that person is not on your friend's list, the messages go to spam. And when they go to spam, I read the messages on spam and I think, okay, this guy is trying to play with my emotions. He is appealing to my to my reptilian um, you know, nature. So what I do is I just read the message, I get the message, and then I ignore. If I reply, then it means we, we reestablish contact and I allow you to communicate to me. So that's one. Really um, introduce yourself. Assume that the other person doesn't know you to, you know, all together. Introduce yourself. Secondly, if you want to send a message to somebody, don't just say hello and wait for them for 10 years to reply to you. No. Say hi. My name is Dindy Ding. I come from da da da. 
and I am interested in asking you for something like, you know, like, like this and the other. Um, you know, something like that. Thanks, for, uh, Jennifer Kilel, Dr. Jennifer Kilel is saying that, you know, the problem with a lot of these people sometimes is as well, you get a stranger, a total absolute stranger who doesn't know you, and, and then they just inbox you and say, hey, can you buy me um, an iPhone? I, I had somebody who asked me for a smartphone, and I said, you need to explain to me, how are you going to use a smartphone? Uh, one, to make money, and two, to be able to pay the airtime that you need because a smartphone is an airtime guzzler. It's going to to run you broke if you do not have uh, unlimited internet. Um, Caroli, I have seen your message on, on WhatsApp groups. This is the other disease that we have. You know, people, honestly, um, you know, there are people you've never seen for 10, 15 years. You've never seen for one year. They don't communicate to you at all. They are They are even on Facebook. They are your friends on Facebook. They don't, they either don't comment on anything you write. You don't comment on what they write. They don't react to your posts. Nothing. Right? You are just friends and they are sitting there. They don't do anything. So I don't know what friends on Facebook really need to be, to be called. It doesn't look to me like friends. It's something else. Yeah. I think it should just be called a, f a list. So you are you are on a list on on, on Facebook together with uh, with this person, and then once in a blue moon, somebody just boom sends you a hospital bill, um, or what they do these days, they go and um, make Harambe cards, and then they write a Harambe card addressed to you, take a you know, a photo or a picture of, of that Harambe card and send it to you on WhatsApp. No message, nothing. You just see here it's written, um, you know, whatever, the way they write those Harambe, Harambe cards. This is somebody who has never communicated to you at all. This is somebody you don't even know. You know, that that could be one of them. So somebody you don't know or somebody who has never communicated to you at all. And all of a sudden, the first link that you have with this person is that they try as much as possible to do nothing, including no communication, no introduction, no icebreaker. The first thing they do is they just add you to a group on fundraising or they forward to you a card for fundraising for something. I think it is okay to ask for money. I mean, I wouldn't be here today without Arambe. I reached here because people donated money. But don't misuse that as an excuse to bombard people with absolute requests. I mean, I will not go to the things I have talked about, you know, like you shouldn't fundraise for, for your wedding. Uh, you shouldn't fundraise for your, your koito. Uh, I think I have said enough in that area, and people already know my position about it. Uh, I, I did make one of those very clear, uh, very clear, um, you know, positions that if you want me to fundraise for you to marry, then you should be able to help me also fundraise for you in, in that private pa part of your, of your relationship. Come on, guys, don't start life with a minus. Don't, you know, don't, don't borrow everything. Don't borrow don't borrow somebody's daughter and then you borrow money to borrow that person's daughter and then you borrow money to start life with somebody's daughter. At least borrow one thing, you know. Me some gilagito, my friend. He some lack with a video, he some me teta, he some me jibundu, gibi yaljini ngurigit. And who said it is a must, by the way, to buy these clothes that you wear in a wedding? Because a lot of those clothes that you wear in a wedding are not, uh, they are not the kind of clothes and dresses that you can wear um, throughout. You don't wear them to, to another function. You know, it's after, after Tumdo, it's done. So what do the whites do here? Let me give you an example. You know, in Germany, people don't buy a wedding dress. They rent it, you know. There are businesses out there which have, uh, you know, wedding dresses which are which are which are ready. 
um, you basically pay for for renting it you go and rent and then you use it up um, and and once you are finished you return that's it you save money you save money really so malas <laughs> mai legi tau <laughs> meje gitu na meje ya luane te ne une to mai kerem ko ro ane nengi wenda ti ko le yu tau si bu joli ba ga sa ta ko bu joli ba el re ta ko bu joli kwa ni katagi si na meje ne ge la ni ne te na ta si ge legi muta te bi why do you need a big a big dress like that so save money some of these things and i mean i'm telling you because how do i say this without sounding condescending i mean i can afford a few things now right but i deny myself the same things that i can afford because they don't make sense yeah uh, i have just walked with my wife 6 kilometers uh, you know just going enjoying the countryside and coming back we have two cars here we didn't need to get into a car to drive around we walked breathe in some fresh air enjoy the countryside and then come back just be a be a normal person really mongo milak to guju it's it's a lot of uh, uh, you know it's, it's it's a lot of how do i say there's a lot of pain you under you get but you ola shini get u kima mi te ata jemu itini and then these are things which just you know they uh, they expire tomorrow you, you will not need them and then you have spent a lot of money on them and then oh come on guys so mate le jo ji ta hi 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 mm mm amati le hello 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 no that's not going to be fair and the other thing is uh, you know this thing of whatsapp i have written i even showed you guys how you can restrict people from adding you to groups like nobody can add me to any group on on whatsapp you know it will not work because i have restricted the only person the the only person who can add me to a group is is one i i will not say who there's only one person who can add me to a group because i restricted it was abused i go to a group sometimes i think it's a crisis i end up being the only one doing what was expected to be done i think if you need money for assistance you can ask people for money without putting them in 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 groups where again we don't have discipline you are put in a group and then what is going on in that group you see people circulating a video of raila attacking ruto in a group where people are fundraising for medical uh, bill you see you see a video of ruto responding to raila in a group where people are fundraising for for a medical bill you see you see um, a message from a, you know a, a, a facebook group there was one i, I went into one which i couldn't have afford to to not be be part of um and then people bring messages from what you would call extraneous messages you know somebody has gone up to dig out a message that says i was ill you didn't uh, fundraise for me i was i was sick you didn't feed me and now that i am dead you are here to mourn me and you want to raise money to to come on shut the fuck up oh, sorry Sorry guys, sorry. I mean, why do you need to send messages like these to people? Is that a way of saying if you don't contribute now this person is going to die and then you will come and contribute anyway when they die? I mean, there is a way you can ask people to give money without scaring them. Uh, you know. So I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of us don't want to get into those WhatsApp groups because we know if we go into those um, whatsapp groups the problem we do there is we get there but then you see a lot of extraneous messages which are not related to the reason why we are in that group yeah and it's not that we we refuse to raise money we do but i think if you want money you can actually get my donation without putting me into a torture of of listening to endless please and endless regurgitated messages um that are meant to do nothing else but sort of haunt people who are not giving money to give money um it just doesn't fly
it doesn't fly so social media can be a very good thing it can open a lot of doors thanks a lot uh, jane i've seen you it can open a lot of doors for people it can empower a lot of people it can open uh, you to lots of knowledge um, but at the same time social media can actually kill you you know uh, it can actually kill you i mean i had to block some people literally and to block some people because there are also these people who wake up every morning there is nothing else they do they just want to send you a bible verse after bible verse after bible verse and then they do it it's okay you do it um oh miano gagerin gidi gidi mano kilela i've seen you um i i mean i i can see all of you guys it's not that i don't see you but i i've seen you i was trying to talk before i i take your comments um and and you know you you get these guys who circulate uh bible verses in the morning which is very good if you are interested but then after some time i had one guy who was who was doing a good job he was sending messages uh teacher nixon have seen you he was sending messages every morning every morning every morning and then after some time he started sending um you know what i what i call sectarian messages like you know uh, you you start getting messages why why sunday is not a sabbath and why saturday is a sabbath why christmas is uh, is is evil why why wine is bad why milk is bad why we should not drink cow's milk i mean come on come on come on come on so i block i mean if i want the bible i carry a bible here on this phone i carry a bible on this tablet i carry a bible on the on the computer and you can be sure i have read the bible from genesis chapter 1 to 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 revelation chapter 20 is what 24 and 22 my so be disciplined on the messages. If you want to be a guy that sends a motivational message every morning, do it. It's okay. But don't use those messages to to also, um, how do I say, kukoroga watu. Because there are messages which are uplifting, but then there are messages that are irritating. Um, you know, like that. Okay. I think we can go to your comments. So what's up? I'll just read them and then you guys tell me what it is that you want us to talk to. It looks like the the messages on the on the tablet are very long. Let me read it on the phone and then it will become uh, it will become faster. Oops. Is it that maybe my battery is f is off on the phone so uh, Okay. Then I think I finished what is jambo jambo no at all. It will root Albatarus Kiptum Kirain Amita Atevenin Atevenin Gavsa Daktari Amina Rebe. Okay, Kirain Protege Kipkore Manuel. Because guessing why we jump again, Arab came by you, I guess. Is the special jump jump Daktari. Wongo me sing Patricia Shokwig, bro, jump get Daktari Tarbesi Nia jump jump from Finland. Wongo me sing Jackson Tenai. Gutoma and Alalo Jackson go ejabai to Polia and go 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 shinigel singing alal rani and go amut. Anyway, I'm on leave the whole of next week, so give muji and alal. Tuned in from Nairobi, Unis Chip, Tajeva Kodil, Carbon Lemiso, Jambo Jambo Jason, Ambassador P. Staga, I'm getting with good topic on going missing Ambassador Edith. Uh, hope they teach jambo getting you loud and clear here in Nairobi. Andrew Gibruti, Rapto, Jambo Jambo, Rapto, and Gapserit, Sisibu. Gibruta Gurwa, Jambo Jambo, Imite Kampala, Uganda. Unisk, sorry, you hire a low ETC is part of introduction, so don't bother. <laughs> quatch. My German will quatch. Um, you know, I, I think I made my point. Don't stop at hello. It is okay to say hello, but then go on. Uh, just as my yo, Jambo Jambo. When we missing last born, Jambo, Jerry Selim, gain the thumbs up. Last born, Noah To, Noah Rob, Delamaya Mate, Long Daddy, Ojamega 047, locked. When we missing, Wendy Komen, uh, thanks for this. I really hated someone 
you don't know simply inbox says hi instead of greetings then introduce self i normally block sign boom deb seremo ya me llevo a mutuo i totally agree with you introduce yourself and state your purpose banat kibro no go go that etiquette 101 gillian jeb koske very true what are those who reply with their one name then wait for you to ask them for the other names really really irritating please provide all your names um gilbert kipkoeji tuned in from mutuodnandi county jero bargoria what a timely discussion thank you makas turuthi kenos good sir uh, laxigi useful message kipkoeji tv yamune ngana da chamge professor hi from us Stranger doesn't even merit a response. If you are going to write two letters, don't expect a full sentence in response. That's a fantastic one, Steve. It's simply disrespectful because if you really want wanted to communicate and weren't wanted to communicate and weren't a response, you would put more effort than high. I agree with you totally. Dr. Jennifer Kilel, I get this all the time from people I don't know. Um much I'm missing. Yo, yo, yellow. Hi, hi love. Hi sweetheart. Hi girl. Jambo, jamge, sema. It is very much. Hey yeah. Jennifer. Kelly gure nem sweetheart. Abaita wa jeri. Um Carol era ma yo gale ma gosto biju. I remember introducing myself to you in 2007 after you had a conversation on Kas FM things have really changed these days I think it is more of laziness and shortcut mentality and you remember it, I mean Karoli is a very good classical example we we did a show on on Kas FM where we were talking about this you know uh going abroad for further education and Karoli was listening on the other side he's from Itigo in Nandi county after the show he inboxed me or even sent a, I don't know whether inbox or sent an email uh, and and one thing led to the other Karoli is in the US at the moment I have never met Karoli by the way for those who don't know but, but he managed to get what he wanted from me because he put his case very uh, very compellingly hi send me 5k I want to sort out something Uh, obi keep i mean it is the same thing eh in your week legend go no alone je boy live go no alone je boy live mut i i usually don't answer if you want to tell somebody to give you a loan of 1100 or, or, or 500 then do the next thing and tell them by when you are going to refund that money if you don't go the leja go no alone je boy live mut come on walu i don't answer because i don't want to offend you If you want to borrow ngutileja go no loan by the good then you say I will refund at the end of the month that becomes a different conversation uh, in that case kai kai leja tarita le but analogy ji go me je gita ne be mai wego agoni ngota tinya na na le ji ma ti singa go ni sulim pokola e ngana go ni uno i think that's it's a very logical way of, of dealing with i don't ask strangers for money that's what i have said before in this on this show The worst is especially with relatives. Hi, I'm chatting with Laxi. Yeah, ne Laxi. And I'm Jeb Kugit Laxi again. He's a laziness and lack of decency. At the corner again when you don't answer them. Yeah. Eh, uh, blaga tarap ko ech kale love your relatives. You need a timely conversation on etiquette of introduction and communicates communication skills please touch on the writing of incomplete words khali jingi ko ta lage jige le shasha igere jita sire ke x a x a ite vasile khali ne jeb ku ni nguno kalu ni ngale ki ba ki bang mi ta no ge lu nga no ngale jingo to ge sisto jing ya ule eh we are up which i love them but u yogi ko ro bolle raise raise la ngo ge de Someone was once asked me this is um, Jennifer Gelel someone was once asked me to send 500k I have a bit to fly my dead uncle from Nairobi to Eldred Olia me to get Nairobi You know I think I've talked about funerals and and all these things and with all due respect guys we bury a lot of money you know we bury a lot of money the people who remain need a lot of money uh the ones who have gone have gone 
There is nothing that money would do to bring them back. I'm learning something, sa Gideon Mano Kilel Gongo Mi Sing Chip Kurir Tuei Yamune Daktari Chip Chirchir Tuei Gongo Mi Sing Ken Andrews, this is a timely communicate skills is very important. Yeah, it is. Another point is fundraising from WhatsApp group. It is respectful to notify an individual privately before adding them to random WhatsApp groups. That is what I expect, actually. Or at least let people know the purpose. Ngapkin in a WhatsApp group which has no description at all. It's just a WhatsApp group created by somebody. It has um, a name, but there is no there is no purpose. You don't know what is the description, what is the problem, what is the target, etc. They tell each other. I remember one time somebody else asked me when I was I had just come to Germany. You know, can you imagine one? Right. Hey. Um Victor, let's see. So it is Kimuzi. Kimuzi is um, K I M U Z I. That's the guy who is hosting the uh, spaces on 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 Twitter. Uh, Deb says, I changed my settings. Now no one can add me to any group of you. Of you. They must send an invitation. Exactly what I did as well. Um, Gideon Mano, Galeuko, Apa, Jennifer, a few young kids have been asking for iPhone 10X, something I even don't have, by the way. Please send me before the end of the month. I mean, come on. Wow. Edwin, I'm going to meto. you Jessica Bruta, great conversation. Uh, Josphat Saina, um, edifying information. Congo missing. The other Makosa with being added to WhatsApp group is leaving the group. Where it is conscious to ask to add someone to a group courtesy. And of course, the problem is they add you without your permission. When you leave the group, they get mad, which is still the other thing of, which is stupid about WhatsApp. That WhatsApp reports when you're leaving a group it says, you know, to I left. I mean, the purpose of leaving was to be, you know, silently disappear. And that's why a lot of people would, would rather be added to a group where they don't do anything. They don't say anything. They just sit there, wait. I, I heard it today. They wait until the group dies and then they quietly die with the group when it is dead, you know. It would actually be easy if you ask people, hey, I'd like to raise money for somebody who is going to India for medical um, treatment and I'd like to get some money. Um, I would like you to help us, uh, you know, fundraise. Or I'd like you to join this WhatsApp group so that you can help us to motivate people to fundraise. That, that's one. The problem, which a lot of people don't realize, is when you go into a group, and I went into one uh, let's say a month or so ago, and then somebody says, ah, you know why people are not giving money? I'm like, yeah. It's like, ah, they saw you, you came in, and they are like, well, Jason can finish that. So that's another problem. You add me to a group, you think I'm going to motivate people to give money. Actually, I'm going to give them an excuse not to give money because they think, ah, he will finish it. It's okay. So, maybe we speak to the Shini big in WhatsApp groups. Yeah. I had a relative who turned enemy sometimes back and a merely, uh, in, in a mere oblivion, they sent me wedding re requirements that I should be the committee steering the occasion with an expensive clothes and jewelry and was prompted to buy. I had to ignore and move on. Congratulations, Larry. I tell people the same thing, that I would do it if my son or daughter were wedding today. I would rent those clothes I would rent them here. Because what I want to do with my children is to give them that 10,000 euros to start life. Not 10,000 euros. That will be worn only once and never worn again. It just doesn't make sense. Dear Africa, it doesn't make sense to buy a wedding dress or wedding suits that... You, you cannot wear to any other thing. You cannot wear them to, 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 to a meeting. You can't wear them to the office. 
because everybody will know this is a tuxedo it was worn for a wedding or this is a you know a dress which was worn to a, a wedding ball just you know rent just rent the bloody dress get married and go start your beautiful family did you notice my words rent the bloody dress go start your beautiful family those words are carefully chosen don't start your life with minuses of daily um talam galespea ribs professor at the fundraising wedding or engagement and also fundraising to be allowed to in bad things ara ne ngoga i i maja goni je pondo ji tu ne je bi aset ko magi jamu ane nya ese kielo arama you have been forced to stuck to be stuck in many because of the left eye to change the settings rob ke lwa gele ye gu se kiel arama ka lu je bi aset iwe je pir ti tu e blaga tarab ke psiro je mo yai je mo yai ya unamka unajipata na 100 conversations in a group had no clue of after that i blocked every invite i agree fundraising for wedding is a big problem including diaspora the problem goes beyond kenya okay put restrictions kimeto kimeto learning comes one on one and putting the same in practice are two different things well let's try yeah we don't need to be perfect i think that's what i have to tell you i got an ema perfect as 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 senior as i am in the uh, corporate world as old as i am with you know my age as educated as i am i still make mistakes but i think the most important thing about mistakes and this is what we were taught as teachers i had to do a teaching course as um, you know to become a professor in germany you you do you do a pedagogic uh, course and one of the things we had to do in that pedagogy was to say mistakes or errors are my friends you know so errors are my friends i learn from them but it is a stupid thing not to learn anything from a previous error dan kango how many wagening eno my friend i agree with you on the point of working but let's put that to context i agree with you put that to context Very well said professor lagini umeni chekesha na ukweli Janet Surum Chamgei yamune Janet Surum blagat ko mi to tool program of mental health in Congo missing eh gidi mano gale to mai gera ga gerin do class yamune o jarwe nyumuli mombasa Nicolas kibet good evening professor you are hitting the nail on the head time comes one one syllabus is reviewed to have social media etiquette as four topics or more Mutai Eric sometimes you wake up and find yourself in five whatsapp groups and what for really um very informative manu manu ko we missing ke blagatara page maybe we should accept diversity and live with everyone as they are apparently they are they there can hardly be enforced uniformity in communication some missed the lesson in school kwera Berbere bijak ne guru itania ko mite jamani lenge no lengo la la germania Linus keep correr great teachings i agree with you dr serone ko ngoi kapsa gidi mano thanks for the inspire imparting knowledge sir be blessed jamge from kirijo daktari ko ngoi jamge ngi in gidi mano kilel brodit koske very informative is special is wonderful we are learning faith mengich live from tine del damaravin baringo county no at all and when you send money and then they follow up with umepata uh, informative i think the one which irritated me until now is somebody who was uh, fundraising so they are they are raising money for for something they are raising money i think the guy was raising money for his children or something so i did everything i could i sent him 10000 shillings and then the phone rang shortly thereafter 10000 shillings means a lot of money for me was that something like i don't know let me just exaggerate it means mcdonalds for my, my my children for for a whole month it means my mother gets some very nice pocket money i sent this guy 10000 the next minute the phone rings i pick it and then I call him back and the first thing he tells me is 
Ako tinye chorwen nyu man kapsa ni kwa tiye nenge kea kwa ilu butama ni jege kityo. Can you believe it? I, I, I mean, maya ja, iti sarambe, kisa mataret, aya ki jip kondo vi. I swear to God, until today, kya blogen si me, awan dawa le si mojie ketya, I don't take it. Kya nare it nea? Una ega anyoji katra ni amara rok ta si si amu ista. Tu, tabet ki yue. Felix ip koske arambe ko arambe. Gosam ji ta arambe ke ta arambe. Just say go ngoy awan dawa ni silung muti le go ngoy. Because kama iyo jo ka arambe. I don't know how people understand arambe really. It's like nge gure jason ke le n kagi ko ji a price ta ke le jason ko lazim au go n. Ele buta kwa barak. Kungi, you know, millions. I don't have money that I, I just dish around. I also work for it, and my family needs every coin. Jambo jambo bro, cosmos kip chumba engap sabet. Oja mega cosmos. Larry, kalle the the limelight remains. Let's plan for everything in advance. The deal of ni changie in twenty first century is awkward. Home and even in diaspora. Let's learn unnecessary drama and oldishly people who hypothesize, hypothetical sugarcoat others that if you, if not them, you would have make it in life. Jackson Zimate, pipti pipti mentality, it kills. Cheap, cheap. Cheap, cheap equals to cheap, cheap. Panet tang twist our my friend. Ileni ne te merkweta. Vikta Bartilole, they put a picture of a tortoise and ask, Mingi no? Chip koko je ta kubet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one that was actually contacting me at something different. Mama, chip koko je ta something different. Mama, jamma. Lol, chip koko je ta ye iti nye chokse. This has been very informative. The humor makes it even better. Kung wai deb serem si ka tuwa ba yo. Chamke, chamke ka ba lelmet kung wai missing Edwin. Just fat sign na kung wai professor. The topic is very informative without proper introduction. Expect nothing, especially recommendation. Got a good recommendation letter from a stranger professor because of good introduction, self-introduction. Genaro. We'll update you in July. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. And have a good... Yeah, I'm going to be missing Joshua. I think we've communicated. Simate Jackson, Jitab Koret. Kali, this topic is part of the subject that I wanted to present. The issues creates poverty inheritance. I hope to get a proper discussion. Simate, I will slot you in. I don't know. Let's see whether we can put you in in the... On Kokwet in one of the uh, the coming weeks. It's Kokwet is becoming very busy, especially because of TV. Maybe be kejango girl ko talking TV, but I'll put you somewhere. Simate. Edwin, you matai bi wat galu maga sengresa ane. Kwera. Oliasi is sengresa. Very nice topic. I wish I could understand English. No English in me. Okay. Kongoi misi. I think that's what we wanted to, to say. Please introduce yourselves. Don't assume people know you because you've just called them and you have their, your, their number. Um, and where possible, introduce yourself with three names. Where you can't, introduce yourself with at least two names. Well, Thank you very much. Yes, we did. But how many people sit in Amadatu with me when I go to Kapsave? There are so many. So start from Anege Gurana Jovri Tanui, Kigimi Matatu, Tuai Gibendi, and take Kapsave to Will Trade, Kigangalale Gele, Situn, Ni Matajamani, Suba Jenti Blondi, Yongolo, or Tumti Gajep Chumja. Then we can, we can talk about it, right? Very good. Um, I think that's it. Let's let's meet tomorrow at uh, 8 p.m. Those of us who are going to watch the torture that is Arsenal and Liverpool, let's do it tonight. 
and then uh, those of you who will make it to Kimuzi, Kimuzi again on, on Twitter is doing a fantastic job, you know, bringing people together to discuss so many topics. So Kimuzi, K-I-M-U-Z-I. And I'm going to suggest today that you speak to them about how you came to Germany, actually. Okay. I don't know what they do at Kimuzi, by the way. I, I heard yesterday some of the things. Kumara, I heard a lot of things. 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 It's a very nice place to be. Guys, enjoy your weekend. Be blessed. Onge communicate and gang a lot. I don't know if I'm going to be a But don't assume me. I'm going to be a good person. No, it doesn't mean that. You know, you can introduce yourself. Kotanain, kotoya, awe ungoi, unda martin moyata game, jamuji, awe ungoi. Kongo missing on giberu rock picture. We can't mean.